I don't want to get out of bed. My head hurts. Ugh, we got woken up by our dog at like 6 in the morning or 7 in the morning. Um, <laughs> she pooped in her little room area. I don't know if she's not feeling well or what. But we take her on walks, you know. So, I was sleeping. Mind you, my room... We live in a one-bedroom, so it is small. But my room is, like, not right next to hers. And, and it's not in our room at all. It's, like... It's, like, her own little area. So, I wake up and I'm, like, did she... Did... No, I'm, like, something smells. And I'm, like, did Nick fart? <laughs> like, in his sleep, you know. And then... <laughs> I like just ignored it because I'm like, okay, whatever, it'll go away if that's what it was. And then it didn't go away. So then I went to go to the bathroom and I walked out and I'm like, Ugh. I just died. So we had to take care of that. And then we didn't fall asleep until like eight o'clock in the morning. So then, and I normally try to wake up at like 10 just to like have a start to the day not like sleep in so much but today was just like not gonna happen we slept in so <sighs> tired but my head hurts i don't know if it's a position that i slept in but I, I get migraines all the time so it's not nothing new it could just be anything but it's probably how i slept it's really nice out it's probably really hot out today i'm, I'm gonna clean my our room at some point because it's a mess Everything was a mess yesterday. Then I cleaned the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom. The closet's clean. I need to do some laundry. But now it's today's laundry and room day. My head is pounding. I really don't want to do shit. Ugh. Guess where I'm going? No, no, no. Go ahead. When it's hard. So I know I've talked about it on my channel before, about my anxiety. I know I've mentioned it because I did a controlling my anxiety video. Um, so I'm giving a little update on my anxiety because a lot has happened since that video and specifically during this pandemic. I'm sorry if you hear the AC, but it is hot. It is 90 degrees in Florida and it's almost November which is not surprising. But anyways, um, so I have been suffering from major anxiety, um, probably. I think I've suffered anxiety my whole life, but really the last four years, and I blame it on the ganja that like amplified it, but now I don't even smoke anything at all. So I know that it's just within me. So during this pandemic, it's really gotten a lot worse because I've gotten so comfortable with being home until the, to the point, no, up until the point that I'm sick of being home and then I want to go out, but I'm not like my brain, my mental health is not ready to see the outside world. It's really insane. It's freaking bizarre. Um... But yeah, so I get really, really bad anxiety. And recently, actually, maybe the past four months, I've had major anxiety um, driving. It's like debilitating. It's like crippling. It's actually annoying. <laughs> I don't know how it started. I think it comes from... Me and Nick share one car. We've shared one car our entire relationship. And he drives most of the time, the majority of the time. Um, so I never end up having to drive. Yeah, so he drives mo majority of the time. I never really have to drive. Um, he's just the better driver. He's the more like defensive driver. I, I'm not as good of a driver as him. I'm not a terrible driver, but I'm not that great. I like crack under pressure sometimes and I know that comes from my anxiety um, but like the past four months I've struggled bad um, it's not easy for me to drive I get super panicky on the road I feel like I don't know what I'm gonna do 
if something were to happen, God forbid, and I get really nervous. I get nervous, especially at red lights, because I feel like I'm just stuck there. I'm stuck in between cars. I have no way out. I feel very claustrophobic. Um, and yeah, so, uh, you know, I, you guys see me driving here. I'm literally driving, um, but I'm just trying to overcome my fears. So I try to drive to small places. I don't try to do like long trips, but I try to drive to my mom's house, which is like 20 minutes away. <clears throat> I try to drive to like Target, which is easy. Um, I drive to places around here, but I'm just like trying to start driving again. My point is, is that whenever you think you had control over your anxiety, the world laughs at you and they're like, huh, bitch, you thought. I know I said yesterday that I thought it was gonna rain at some point. It never ended up raining, but I feel like it's gonna rain today. Who knows? <laughs> to work the most it just be like nah I'm good it feels cool enough for me so I got a bunch of junk it feels like I just went I've really been craving a spicy chicken sandwich with a Hawaiian bun um we had it like once and like the spicy chicken sandwich is fire but with the Hawaiian bun it's like amazing and then nick was saying that he's craving like a chili cheese dog which we never eat hot dogs but like you know sometimes they hit you know and then and literally today we just got things that we we're craving because obviously that's like unhealthy ass shit we normally don't shop this unhealthy we normally buy like a lot of vegetables um, canned vegetables, fresh vegetables, um, meat, we like try to do low carb, I feel like I'm parked this so bad, we try to do low carb, and, you know, whatever, but there's just times where you just have a craving, and today we're gonna fulfill the cravings. Everything I got, I got like spinach dip, tocinos, uh, scoops, Oreos. Like I just got stuff that we were like craving, but we have like bell peppers at home. We have green beans, broccoli, asparagus, um, cauliflower. We have so many vegetables at home. So I'm not even, it's not even mad about it. I'm ready to indulge. Haven't vlogged much because I haven't really done much. You know, during a pandemic, during a pandemic, like there's so many, right? <laughs> during this pandemic, I've learned that I don't have that many responsibilities and it kind of sucks. I wish I had more things to fill my day up with. Um, I don't have any kids. We don't like own a house to like, you know, do like ma house maintenance. Like we have our one bedroom apartment that we like try to keep, you know, keep clean and maintain. We have our dog, but she's low maintenance as far as like her day to day shit. But. Ooh, the lighting. You know, we don't have anything like that. We don't own any businesses besides my small business that I own. But like, that still doesn't even take up that much of my life yeah so i have a story time i'll include in the next vlog and other than that i think i'm gonna end this here because 
just gonna cook some dinner and that's it just chill but i feel like tomorrow's gonna be just like this so i'm just gonna include that story time tomorrow um it's a kind of a quick one but it's a good one so thank you guys for watching my short vlog i'll talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs>